what do you want to do tonight? Mom, I'm trying to pee here. <laughs> yeah, leave him alone while he's pee. Hello gamers, I'm Mortuari and welcome back to another Let's Talk Gaming video and as you can see today we are playing something completely new. I just received a message that uh, Through the Woods would be available and I installed it on my uh, computer and I'm having a first look at it. Now, uh, first of all, let me tell you a little bit about the game itself. The game itself has been developed by Antagonist and published by One. C company and it has been released on the 27th of October so two days ago and uh, the actual game is some kind of an adventure game it is uh, a third person Norse adventure game set on uh, on a forest a forest somewhere in uh, Norway on the coast of Norway and you play the part of a mother who is retelling the story uh, the events surrounding the disappearance of her son and uh, what well, you explore the world and you try to find back your son and you encounter different things like uh, well the, the story is heavily influenced by uh, Norse mythology and, and Norwegian folk tales so it's a little bit of uh, yeah, a yeah horror adventure which comes uh, right in time for uh, the Halloween season so I'm gonna have a look at it I have no idea what to expect but uh, uh, we can start the game together and uh, I will be trying to do a little playthrough so let's launch the game first uh, apparently the people from antagonist have been uh, uh, trying to recreate the feeling you get when you are in a forest in Nor norway just as you you had when you were a kid and you were in the forest and and all kinds of sounds and and things were happening and if you remember as a child if you ever went in the forest any little sound could mean that there was a dragon or something really big behind the corner and apparently they have tried to recreate that so the game has launched and we are somewhere in the western part of Norway nice little cabin I'm not quite sure if I should uh, really talk over this because uh, I have the impression that things might happen Ooh, a little wood cabin. Or tree cabin, how, how should I call it? Graphic wise? I'm gonna go exploring, Mom. Okay? Okay. Just keep away from the tears. It's old. I will. So that is the sun. I think. Yeah, I can move around just like in, in regular first-person shooter games. Moving my mouse around and WASD makes you move around. Oh, he looks uh, a little bit strange. Maybe that's uh, the shadows. Not quite sure. But I have no idea what to do yet or where to go. I should stay away from the pier. Oh, did you see? A little bird. <laughs> nice. I quite like the the uh, the graphics so far. I haven't seen anything yet, probably, but uh, there are some graphical glitches. That's something I noticed immediately. From time to time, I see some black stripes appear. The question is, where do I have to go? I have no idea. So I'm gonna walk around. Yeah, it really, the, uh, how should I call it, uh, the uh, atmosphere is, is, is quite nicely done. The sounds, nice, nice, nice. The pier, oh, she told me I should stay away from the pier because it was old. But of course we are kids, so <laughs> if our parents tell us don't go there, the first thing we do is have a look. Mm-hmm. I think I'm gonna be raising volume just a little bit. I lowered it quite a bit because I thought it would be a little bit too much for the recording, but I think I'm gonna raise it back a bit. I don't know if, if this will be visible in uh, in the actual recording, but from time to time I get little graphical glitches. Now I have to say this isn't really uh, a gaming PC. I'm playing this on, on my uh, uh, Mac Pro, which is booted into Windows, so it's not really a high power, high grade gaming system. So maybe 
it has something to do with uh, the AMD DC700 uh, graphics card. It's maybe not optimized for that type of graphic card. So the pizza is ready. Uh, I think I'm gonna head to the little cabin and check if uh, if I can get the piece of the pizza. Or maybe, yeah, I have no idea what to do yet. Story-wise, things will probably evolve uh, as uh, you go around and do things. Now, if all cabins, forest cabins are like that in Norway, I think I might be planning a trip up there. It, it looks quite interesting. I And I really enjoy forests and then... Oh. Hey, Mom, wake up. Wake up. You've been asleep all day. Okay, it's been... I'm up. Sorry. Why do you have to stay up so late? You're always tired. It's been... I came here to work. You were supposed to be with your grandparents this weekend. Sorry. Just let me get some coffee. We'll go night fishing down by the lake or something. I just wanted to go to the bathroom, but it's dark outside. I'm sorry. Go get the flashlight and I'll come out with you. Go get the flashlight. Oh yeah, look at the stars. Oh, I already like this. Uh, from the first look, I think that the models of the people are a little bit, just a little bit strange. It, it, it could be just me, but... And they don't really sound Norwegian. They don't really have a Norwegian accent, accent so... Uh, well, like this, it, it looks pretty much okay. She looks okay, but when uh, in the cutscene, it, it, it just looked strange to me. <laughs> yeah, I guess as a kid, you might be scared to go outside in the in the bathroom. Yeah, leave him alone while he's pee. <laughs> I'm gonna raise the volume just a little bit more. Uh, oh, nice! You have Norwegian speech as well, and you have subtitles, subtitles in English, Norwegian, Spanish, German, Russian, Italian, and French. But it's the whole interface that's even translated. Nice, nice, nice. Now I would turn on Norwegian, but I have no idea. How many of us would understand it? Okay, let's let's just listen a bit of Norwegian. Kan du gå litt vekk? Jeg klarer ikke, men du står der. Ok, lille mann. Jeg går bort nå. Yeah, that sounds a little bit more Norwegian than, than I can handle. So let me set it back to English. Well, of course, if, if uh, the story is about a little kid disappearing, I should probably not walk all too far from him. Well, this looks quite nice for now. Let me go check on uh, Espen. Is he still inside? Yeah, he is. Sprinting can be done using the shift key like in most traditional games. Can I go back inside? No. Oh, he's out. Espen? Espen? Oh, no, he's gone. Yeah, he is gone, actually. Stop messing around, Espen. I'm not in the mood. I mean it, Espen. Come out. Huh. Yeah. Jesus, Espen, what are you doing? Sorry, I thought I'd see if I could scare you after all. 
You are getting there. Let's go inside. I don't know if I want to make you hot chocolate anymore. Oh, I was only kidding. I'm sorry. <laughs> Will you tell me have hot chocolate? Okay. But don't scare me again. And you're washing the cups. Okay. Hey, can I go down to the pier in the morning? I want to try catch some crabs. I'm pretty sure you're not going to find any crabs. It's a freshwater lake. Anyway, the pier is broken and dangerous. Please don't go down there by yourself. Fine. But I still want hot chocolate. <laughs> I think I can handle the hot chocolate. I'm not going to pretend that I was a great mother. When Espen was born, I found, to my surprise, I felt nothing. My nightmare had come true, and I was left raising a child I didn't love. Ooh. My friends became distant, and Espen's father and I began to fight. I resented them both, and one day, Espen and me were alone. But as Espen got older, I slowly began to realize something. I did love him. I loved him so much I ached. He became my best friend, my favorite thing, and I lost him. We lost each other. And I don't know if I can forgive myself or Espen. Espen, why didn't you wake me up? Espen, want some breakfast or lunch? We have eggs and bacon. This is our plane. Okay, I can interact with objects, read the letter. Hi mom, you've you're always asleep. When I wake up, it's really boring going out to play. <laughs> okay. Is there anything else I can interact with? Let's uh, check the different rooms inside. Maybe there is some... I loved our room at the cabin. Espen's reflectors looked nice in the sunlight and his drawings fascinated me. He soaked up the world and it bled from his imagination to the page in pastels and pen. The process always seemed to distill the harsh world into something purer. <laughs> Look, the the Viking. Okay, let's check the other rooms too. Mm, nothing really special up here. And I can't seem to open this door yet. Uh, what's up here? Oh, that's the front door. Yeah, let's put on our jacket and go outside. Freezing. What is he doing out in this cold? <laughs> Playing, I guess. Espen, I hope you're not down on the pier. I told you that thing's dangerous. Well, uh, I'm pretty sure he went Espen, to the pier. Talk to me, little man. Little man. Where does she see someone? Jesus. Oh, there, yeah. Jesus. Espen, Look, the boat, get yeah. Away from him. Espen, I'm coming. Yeah, too late. Ooh, no. that's no. daring. Please. Jump into the ice cold water. Espen. I can't move at all. Espen. No. Espen. Yeah, I don't think I will be able to catch up with the both. 
and pretty soon <laughs> I will probably be through the woods. Oh, a nice introduction. Yeah, that was probably the introduction part, so now the adventure will begin. Apparently in the press release I had some additional information. Uh, yeah, they wanted to capture the feeling of... Uh, the mysterious feeling of, of walking and, and exploring the woods on your own. And apparently it's coupled with a quite pow powerful story and high quality sound design and... Uh, yeah, Through the Woods is a profound experience. I'm reading it from uh, the uh, press release now. Through the Woods is a profound experience that delivers the feeling of loneliness and loss in a terrifying place. And uh, during the, uh, the game you will be able to explore stunning environments and experience stories inspired by Norse mythology, Norwegian art and nature. Of course, you will have to uncover dark tales of the past and present through reactive narration. Creative use of light and darkness generates deceptive environments and uh, it will be a, f a frightening journey accompanied by a beautiful and grim sound design. So we have arrived on the island. Yeah. Let's uh, check to see if we can find some clues up here. The only thing I see is, uh, well, a boat. I should have checked this boat because it uh, it looks like a, a mini version of a Drakkar with uh, the horse head or the dragon head. Yeah, no uh, clue about Espen so far. Maybe I should head up this little mountain. Okay, left or right? Hmm. Let's pick left first. A little shelter here. Oh, this is going up the mountains. Nice. This is a, ooh, a big door. No way to open this door, I guess. Nope. Uh, I have to go back the other way. Or maybe I can head this direction. I have no idea. No, I can't climb over things yet. So I have to go back down and take the other path up. Yep, up this way. Well, it is happening. <laughs> mm, this way or that way? I think I will have a look this way. I should be seeing something at least. As long as I don't get lost in the forest, I'm, I'm fine. But I have no idea where I'm heading to. Uh, I probably have to find some clues or some traces of Espen. But for now, I'm running around without knowing where to go. Okay, this is... This looks like caves and there is something else up here. Oh, look at this. So 
some runes, I think, and a big fire. Hmm. Espen! Yeah, Espen, where are you? This is going further up. Yep. Uh, there is a sign here. Mirkstadt. Mm, don't ask me what that is. But we will have a look inside. Maybe we will find something inside of this uh, little town or village. No idea. Mirkstadt. Yeah, hello. I was just about to say the same thing. Hello? Anyone here? It's... To me it look like, looks like an abandoned village, an, an old abandoned village. You see a little bed. And some abandoned houses. Maybe there is something in, inside these. Can I open these doors? No. And I probably can't enter the houses. Nope. I should be able to find some clue somewhere. And check this door. Hey, is someone there? I can open this door. A Viking helmet. Or whatever it is. Some cups. Nothing special. A little bed, and what's in here? Nothing. Okay. So, that's probably not a place I have to be. I'm gonna check some other houses too. I think there is another one up here. Yep. Another empty house. A sword and a helmet. Other than that, nothing special. Hmm. What was that sound? I hear something. I have no idea what, but I heard something. I thought it... I thought it was maybe a flag or something, but... I have no clue. Nothing here. Oh, what's this? A horn. Brothers, I found I found a ram's horn. Okay. And do I have an inventory or something? No. I'm gonna check the other houses too because, uh, well, other than that, I have no idea <laughs> what to do. So. This seems abandoned too, but there is, there's like a little cabin behind it. No, nope. nothing in here. Yeah, it gave me the impression of being an old abandoned Viking village. But on the other hand, why have a Viking village in here? Well. More houses. Yeah, I'm gonna check those as well. Oh, 
Ooh, a candle and a little note. What's in there? The old bastard came to the village yesterday, yesterday Eve. The cavern Worson took Raider's boy away, the bastard. No one saw him come, though we set a watch some week ago. The boy didn't make a sound, he wretched the wretched thing. With all a mind ah, let me check that te the text. With all a mind to go up there at last and put an end to this but the gates but for the gates, huh? The cursed gates won't open to those such as us. It's written in, in a strange, strange form of English. All we can do is bide and hope Raider's boy was the last. The corruption of the man. His heart, if he has one, must be rotted as a moth dead a swine. And there are gods do nothing. A curse on the whole festering pile of them, and a curse on the murdering bastard Eric. Eh, okay. Eric. Yeah, Eric. Who's Eric? There was a folk tale in the town where I was born about a man called Old Eric. They said he would sneak into the village at night and steal away children who misbehaved. My parents used to tell me that I had to be good, or old Eric would come and take me. At the time, it didn't even cross my mind that the person in the journal could be the same man from the folk tales. But later, later, I wasn't so sure. Um. Okay. The Eric story sounds interesting. No, I have seen that there are two parts again. Okay, doing some more exploring in here. Uh, I think I haven't visited these two houses, at least not this one. Huh, nothing in here. Oh yeah, I did visit that one. Yep, I did. So any more houses I need to visit? Any more clues I need to find? I don't think so, so I'm heading back out. Oh, oh look, this is no... I will have to go explore a bit more. So I'm gonna walk back down to the area um, where the road split up. Yeah, I've been here with runes. I remember that. So the gates, there was something about the gate. I was at the gate earlier. Maybe I should go check it again. On the other hand, there is still some stuff to see here as well. Like, this looks like a big cave or something. Yeah. But not really any clues I could find, so... Let me try to find back that big gate we had earlier. And maybe I will be able to open it or something? At least if I can find the path back to the gate, because I have no no idea where I went. I'm probably running around in circles already. Oh no, this is the place where I started. Yeah. So the gate was somewhere up here. Yeah, there was a gate somewhere. Yeah, here's the gate. Can't I? 
do anything with the horn or something? No. Hmm. Nope. Nothing I can do. Okay. Can go that way? Hmm. Come on, I'm not stuck in here, right? Don't tell me I found... Oh. <laughs> yeah. I was already thinking with my luck I have probably found that one place where you get stuck in the whole game. Oh. No, nothing here. I will have to uh, walk back up and maybe find some other path or something not sure so i'm pretty sure i went i walked this way already yeah and yeah that way too because there was a cave up there nothing here yeah this is a little cave again I'm probably going to have to move up even further. Anything this way? Nope. Hmm, Espen surely didn't leave a lot of clues behind. Hmm. Strange. Will I have to go uh, through the village somewhere? I didn't see a place where the path split up, so I probably have to go through the village, find something in there, and continue from there. I'll have a look around in the little village and see if I can find some path leading somewhere else. And uh, yeah, try to adventure down that path because I'm pretty sure I found all other things. Can I jump over this? Nope. Maybe through one of the. No. Oh, this is a path I didn't follow yet. Yeah. Oh, one of those big uh, tribe houses. <laughs> That's one way to open a door. Oh. I like it. I like I like what I'm seeing graphically. It's it's yeah. It has a nice Norse uh, Viking atmosphere to it, and and I quite like that. So Norse mythology. Ah. Uh. Yeah, I think this game will. Uh, will require a lot of, of searching around looking for clues but I quite like what I'm seeing so far it's uh, yeah it's not one of those fast paced games it's uh, one of those games where you have to go through different areas maybe revisit a few areas to find some more clues and yeah come back and check for things <laughs> The sounds are nice. 
I don't know how, how you should uh, call that in English, but uh, the sounds make you think you're really inside. Oh, it, it's a, a chieftain's desk here. Too bad I can't pick up the sword. I would have loved picking up the sword and traveling around with a sword in my hands, but uh, you can't. <laughs> it, I don't know how how uh, how to explain this, but I'm not gonna say it's it's scary, but it's it's spooky. It's like you hear plenty of sounds. I'm playing with a headset, so I have the sounds in my ears, and yeah, it sounds oh. I'm getting the shivers sometime. Oh, listen to the music. Another message. Mm -hmm. Record, village tales. Spied a glimmer of the watchtower in the night. Must be that strange baker or backer man lighting his lantern again. The way he scoots round in the dark makes me grip the me huh? makes me grip me both together. No, the way he skulks around in the dark makes me grip me both tighter. But he's the only one who keeps the parts lit and carries off the dead. He's been doing it longer than anyone can remember, though no one knows why. Hardly a one sees him about it either, as he only works in the black of the night. The Owens leave baskets of bread outside the fence now and then to keep him fed. Always gone. Uh, always gone the next morning unless I watch it through the night and it goes still and gets taken by the crawls. Seems as much as I watch out for the old wrecker, he has his eyes yet better trained on me. Those are the texts are probably all more all. Uh, Stories, uh, yeah, folk tale stories, as as it was uh, said in the press release. This game is full of those, and I think some of those texts really are some of those stories written down. Yeah, I really like the, the the song. Like for example, from time to time you hear her breathe through her nose, and I know when it gets really cold, your nose. Yeah, I don't know how to explain that in English, but you you have to sniff your nose a little bit. You heard? She, she does, and I know that's something you you do quite. Ooh, I found a clue. Oh yeah, his reflectors. Espen loved his reflectors. He collected them from magazines and cereal boxes. And I bought him a couple from the gas station by our house. He'd hang them from the curtain pole at the cabin and wave his flashlight over them at night to watch them shine. I could hardly believe any of this was happening, but what I did know was that the reflector I found was his. What I couldn't know at the time was that he'd left me more. A trail. And as long as I stumbled across these reflectors now and then, that Espen was still alive. Okay, so apparently Espen is leaving a trail for us, a trail of reflectors, so we will be able to continue our adventures. But uh, let me wrap up this video and tell you my first impressions after a while about uh, 
35, 40 minutes into the game. I quite like the atmosphere. I quite like what I did with the game. It's uh, Visually, it looks really great. Uh, I like uh, how it looks. The, the forest looks good. The only thing I have is a... Uh, a uh, little issue I have is that I think sometimes the models, especially in cutscenes, the, the, the people, they look strange. Sound-wise, they did an absolute great job. I love the little details in the game, like for example, you hear sometimes the wood cracking or some leaves, and you hear her sniff her nose from time to time in the mother, and I quite like all that. So, I'm enjoying the game so far. It's, uh, well, it's new, I haven't seen a lot yet but uh, I'm quite sure I will be playing this a little bit more to find try and find Espen and since he is leaving a trail I'm sure we will find him at some point I'm really looking forward to some more adventure and some more stories in this game but uh, I think we we've seen enough for this first episode I will be playing this game a little bit more, but I hope you enjoyed this first video. And if you did, feel free to hit the thumbs up button. And if you have comments or suggestions, you can post those in the comment section below the video as well. Now, if you'd rather get in touch with me personally, that's possible as well. You will find links to all the social media channels in the description of this video. And as usual, you can help me out by hitting the subscribe button. Not only do you help me reach my next subscriber goal, but you will get notified when I post new content to the channel. Well, I guess uh, that will wrap up today's episode and I hope to see you back again soon in another Through the Woods episode later on. So until then, have fun and stay safe. Bye. <laughs>